So today, I wanted to go over a Pokemon named Shenotic, which I really, really like the name of this Pokemon, because it's a play on the type of mushroom Shiitake and Hypnotic, so I think that's a pretty funny little, little nod to that type of mushroom. But anyway, if we look at this Pokemon's stats, it's actually very, very similar to another mushroom Pokemon, Amoongus. The only difference is, it has slightly better defenses, very slightly better defenses but its attack is marginally lower. Other than that, it's pretty similar. However, its typing is quite a bit different and it doesn't have the ability that makes Amoonga so great in Regenerator. So it has the Grass Fairy typing and the two abilities that are important on it because its third ability is Illuminate, which is completely useless in competitive play, are Effect Spore and Rain Dish. So, Rain Dish is really only useful if you're carrying a Rain Team, or if you're against a Rain Team, such as the new Drizzle Pelipper that may become a part of the meta for a while. And it grants you healing equivalent to having leftovers at the end of every turn. But really, I think the most useful ability will be Effect Spore, even though it's very random. What Effect Spore does is every time you're hit with a contact move, you have a chance of inflicting your opponent with a status condition, whether it be Sleep, poison or paralysis. So even though it's not the best ability, I think it's the best that you could have on this Pokemon. So if we look at its weaknesses and resistances, it has five weaknesses in fire, ice, and flying, which are three very common types, along with steel and poison, and it actually is quite weak to poison, which means that if a Salazzle, for example, wants to switch in, it's more than likely going to one-shot this thing a few times because it's also a fire type. However, the fairy topping mixed with grass actually gives it a handful of resistances in things like water, grass, and its immunity to dragon, which I'm actually not sure if that helps it more or hurts it because it still has that quad weakness along with being weak to three very common offensive toppings in the meta. But if we look at the set that I thought of for it, I was thinking give it leftovers, a calm nature which boosts its special defense and lowers its attack, and maxing out its HP and special defense would be the most beneficial. Now, usually when I make sets, I like to split the defenses a bit. I like to go the nature one way, and I like to max out its defense another way. Like, if I were to give it a calm nature, usually I would give a Pokemon max defense. That way you could take more hits on both sides. However, Shenotic gets a move that I think could be very useful, although it's a bit situational. So, the first move I was thinking is obviously Spore, having a 100% chance to put your opponent to sleep. Any Pokemon that switches in, as long as it's not a grass type or has some type of ability that prevents it, is very, very, very useful. So, past that, it ha learns a move that I believe is unique to its evolution line called Strength Sap. And what Strength Sap does is it heals you equal to your opponent's attack, lowers their attack, so that way it's like getting off an intimidate and healing yourself. Now the problem with this is, well there's two. One, if your opponent switches in a special attacker such as Salazzle, then this is going to heal you nearly none because its attack stat is so low and it doesn't care if it resists. If it switches in, it gets its attack lowered because it's a special attacker. So I was thinking if you were to not want to use Strength Sap, you could always run Moonlight instead because it's 50% recovery guaranteed as long as the weather is not changed. Other than that, I was thinking Leech Seed is a good move because it's constant recovery and both either Giga Drain or Moon Blast for that stab damage. That way you're not just getting taunted to death because you're only 30 speed. Um, other moves I thought were interesting on this Pokemon, even though it doesn't get that many that are very, very useful would be Thunder Wave, which is a paralysis for any grass types that might want to switch in. It gets Dream Eater, which could very well be coupled with Spore, because Dream Eater is a base 100 special attack that's Psychic type. So if a Poison type decided to switch in and attack you, you could Spore it, and while they try to burn a turn of sleep expecting you to switch out, you hit them with a Dream Eater, it's super effective, and you get a ton of health back before you decide to switch, or you could even knock them out. And past that, Confuse Ray is really the last move that it got that has any kind of use. 
I don't normally run it because it's so up to chance. It's a coin toss, and a lot of people get very frustrated if they hit themselves four times in a row over and over. So I prefer to just not run it, but whether or not you run it, it's up to you. But one thing that I noticed when looking at this Pokemon was it may or may not be less useful than the Pokemon that evolves into it, which is why I decided to make a slide for Morlul. And I actually also think Morlul's name is very funny because it's a mixture of morel mushrooms and lulling something to sleep. So I just love these Pokemon's names, even if they're competitively garbage and they're just bad in every way, I just love their names. But as far as I'm aware, Eviolite has not been nerfed. It's still 1.5 times each defense as long as the Pokemon can evolve. So looking at Morlul, its defenses would actually be marginally better than Shenotix. And because it would have less HP, if you were to run something like Giga Drain or like Leech Seed, you would actually get more health back in percentage and then you would have more defenses. So in a way you would have more bulk. As far as abilities go, it has the same abilities. But its weaknesses, it actually picks up the bug weakness again because it's not a fairy type, but it's only two times weak to poison instead of the quad weakness that it had before. But it also loses some of its resistances. But I was just thinking, my favorite tier, for those of you who don't know, is the PU tier. I absolutely love using Pokemon that are terrible, that have no place in something like OU. Because they're just so different, the sets down there are so diverse. And so, when I got to reading on Shenotic and looking at what it might or might not be able to do, I was just so curious about what this little thing could do. And seeing this on a higher tier battlefield, like, absorbing hits, is just something I would love to see. So I feel like I'm going to be running it very, very soon in the future. But uh, let me know in the comments below who you think will be the better wall between Shenotic and Morlul. Because I'm curious myself.